ESPN index, Tony, has Washington with a 91% chance of winning at home. I know that they're a huge favorite. I don't know what the point spread is. I'm going to guess that it should be somewhere in the 14 to 17 range. That, that, that would be my guess. But 91% against UCLA talent? I think that's a little heavy. I do think it's a little bit heavy. I think if it's a low-scoring game, obviously that's going to favor Washington because it shows that their defense is taking control of the game. If UCLA can put up some points early and and run some clock, move the ball downfield, sustain drives, UCLA will be in it. I think 91% is high. Uh, last I looked at the point spread, when it admittedly was Tuesday, and it was about 12 and a half in Washington's favor. So, yeah, you're, you're right there. You're right on it. Um, and I think that it's just a matter of, you know, the knocks on UCLA right now, and they are self-inflicted knocks and to a large degree, and they are somewhat well-deserved. And like I said, UCLA has got some injuries on defense that they're having to deal with. Um, defensive tackle Matt Dickerson is quite possibly out for the season. Um, he's got a shoulder injury from Saturday's game against Oregon, was undergoing surgery at some point this week. Might be back for the Cal game at the end of the season, you know, but that's a stretch. Uh, defensive lineman Rick Wade has got a sprained ankle from last week. He is a game time decision. Um, and a strange one, interestingly enough, Jacob Tuioti Mariner actually left the game around halftime and was taken to the hospital. He's a defensive lineman, linebacker hybrid. He was taken to the hospital. They were worried about his internal organs because he took a hit and was having such a hard time breathing, something well beyond what you usually get with the he got his when he got the wind knocked out of him. They actually took him to the local hospital in Pasadena. Uh, the tests were fine. He had more tests on Sunday and was declared fine will likely play. But just a strange scenario in what is you know a strange season for the UCLA defense. Um, they have they have gotten run up and run on quite a bit this season, and so anything that makes them more thin, especially on the defensive line, is going to be challenging. When you think about it, and the collisions that take place on the field, and the the size, the strength, and the speed at which these guys collide, it's surprising that that doesn't happen more often. Just to the the impact that's taken internally by some of these hits in the midsection and in the back and in the gut, that uh, that wouldn't be the result of it. Uh, it's, it's amazing what these guys uh, put themselves through on the football field.